Sorry about the delay. I was having internet issues. How are you today? Welcome. How's everybody doing at home? Hello, Hello Yvette. Hello, Good evening, teacher. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello. Hello, Mario. Welcome back, guys. How was your weekend? Short. Too short? <laughs> you needed some more time? Definitely. Uh, I hear that, sister. Especially with this coronavirus thing going on. Coronavirus. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Got everybody on quarantine, can't go out, can't do this, can't do that. Out of control. There's so many things to do at home. Yeah, definitely. I got a mountain of clothes I got to wash. And have you guys uh, moved on on the platform, on the on the sections on the platform? Have you moved on? Have you moved forward? What section are you on? What section? I'm. I'm still at the, um, the reading practice. Okay. So at one section of the reading practice. The panspermia. I guess right. I'm at the middle of the reading. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Impossibility. Okay. Have you guys started the reading practice test one? Yes. Have you done no, it? You have not? Yeah. Yes. You have? Everybody has? All right. We're going to do the reading practice test together. I would like for us to look at the reading practice test section. I'm going to share my screen. I would like for us to go through the test as a class and work it out together. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Can you see the text? Yes. All right. Let me have uh, Yvette. I would like for you to read the first section, the idea that life did not originate on Earth. Please read for the class. The idea that life did not originate on Earth but was carried here either deliberately or by natural processes has lots of, has its roots at least as far back as ancient Greeks. This idea often referred as uh, to as panspermia took, a, took on a scientific form in the work of various 19th century authors. It later gained widespread popular appeal through the work of the Swedish chemist Svante Arthen Arthenus, who argued that spores of life could survive in space and travel between star systems through the pressure of solar radiation. Excellent, the excellent. Stop right there. Uh, does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this section? No. All right. Uh, Vero, please continue. Greeks. The, yes? Greeks. Greeks. Yeah. The ancient Greeks. Who yeah. knows what is the meaning of the word the ancient Greeks? The persons who were from Greek? That is uh, correct. Okay. The okay. ancient Greeks were the people that lived in Greek at that time, at Greece at that time. For example, okay. you have uh, you have people that are from Germany, you call them Germans. Rome, for people from Rome, call them the Romans. All right, continue reading for me, please. The thank you, thank you. Continue. The please. the panspermia <laughs> hypothesis. Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the panspermia hypothesis eventually fell out of favor of a variety of reasons. The skeptics pointed out that microorganisms could not possibly survive the damage caused by ultraviolet radiation and cosmic rays while being propelled, propelled out 
of a solar system away from a star. Indeed, it wasn't clear how biological material could escape from a planet by natural processes in the first place. If unprotected, the molecules of life will quickly be destroyed by radiation near the ejecting planet. Furthermore, it was not clear how microorganisms having made a journey across the huge distances of inter interstellar space could have safely descended to the surface of Earth or any other planet. Arrhenius himself argued that organisms caught inside meteor... I don't know how... To, I don't know, mede meteor... Meteorite. 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 Uh, will be subjected to incandescent temperatures while entering the atmosphere of terrestrial body. Such, such heat will destroy any life forms lucky enough to have survived to this point. Excellent. Very good. Uh, do you have any questions re inside this paragraph? Does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this paragraph? No. Oh. I, I have a question. How do you pronounce the scientist, the Swedish chemist name? Oh, I oh. pronounce it correctly. Arrhenius? Oh. Arrhenius. Marcus Julius Caesar Arrhenius. Savante Arrhenius. Got it. Thank you. I had something like that because that's how they, Hercules, that's how they pronounce those names. The Greek gods, Zeus. All right. Uh, who would like to read the following paragraph? Yvette, Veer, Rodrigo? Excuse me? All right, Rodrigo, please read the following paragraph. Despite... Okay. Go ahead, action. Um, this, despite. Okay. Despite the seeming, despite the seeming implausibility of the panspermia hypothesis, some theories have resurrected the notion of in re recent decades, science laboratory laboratory search has shown that many of the objections to, to the hypothesis, hypothesis can be overcome. Scientists have shown that microorganisms protected from radiation by grains of material could be ejected from a solar system if the repulsive force P of the Ejecting a star is greater greater than the attractive force G of the star gravity. Such ejecting a star cannot be too luminous since Brewster star emit too much ultra ultraviolet radiation. That would be uh, ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. And science right. would be since things since brighter okay. stars. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ultraviolet radiation for the survival of bacteria. Organisms can only enter new solar system whose star PG ratio is low. All right. Those only an observation right the, here. Allowing. Mm -hmm. The gravity to pull the microbytes into the planetary orbit. Microbes. To some re ejected from a planetary system could also eventually become part of an interstellar molecular cloud, which eventually produces a new planetary system as well as a large numbers of comets. Comets can retain microorganisms protected by other material and water. An impact 
onto new planet, which by the would have cooled sufficiently for the life in the grains to take hold. Excellent. Very okay. good. Uh, does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this uh, text? Questions? Somebody? No. All right. Can I have a volunteer for the next paragraph, please? Further supporting evidence? I'll read. Okay, go ahead. Further supporting evidence without the likelihood of survival of bacteria traveling through space and entering a planetary atmosphere has been gained from studies of a meteorite of Martian origin found in the Antarctica in 1984. Whether or not the meteorite contains fossil of Martian bacteria, and many researchers now seem to reject the possibility. Microscopic studies of its internal structure have shown that the interior was not heated to more than 40 degrees Celsius since before leaving the Martian surface. In other words, neither the original impact that must have ejected the rock away from the Martian surface nor the heat generated by its entry into the Earth's atmosphere did. In fact, melt or vaporize the internal portions of the meteorite. So it is quite possible that any life form that had undergone such a trip would survive. As for the long journey itself, the experiments of the European Space Agency mission have shown that bacterial spores can survive in deep space for at least five years. This is sufficient time for viable interplanetary travel, although not, of course, for interstellar travel. All right, excellent, very good. Thank you, Yvette. Uh, could you, uh, does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this section? No. Nobody? All right, the last paragraph. Can somebody read for me the last paragraph? Thank you for that, Yvette. Very good pronunciation. Somebody? Veer? Okay, go ahead, continue. Today, the panspermia hypothesis is being regarded with less skepticism than formerly. Although the orthodox view is still that life can evolve on Earth, and possibly other planets in the universe without extraterrestrial input. More and more research is pointing to the feasibility. 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 So, uh, can you repeat? Feasibility. 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 The letter A is not pronounced. Feasibility. Feasibility. Feasibility, that's right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go back to the practice test and you're gonna answer questions one through 10. Oh no, this one has 15. I want you to work in pairs. You will have 10 minutes and then we'll resolve it together. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Good to have for yourself. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I came late to the class. I, I had a meeting about this thing of COVID. <laughs> You're tired. Yes, yes, it's... You, you work in the health uh, department? No, I work in uh, Central Reserve Bank on import-export. Oh. Yes. So I have, think that's a lot of work today. Yes, we have to organize 
the people who will go to work tomorrow and the people who will stay at home, working at home. Yeah. So it's very complicated. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do the... The reading section one. No, that... Yeah. The reading practice, that's one. So according to the passage, the panspermia hypothesis fell out of favor for a lot of the following reasons, except, except a potential damage that was mentioned, the unlikelihood of natural processes leading to the ejection of biological material that was mentioned, the probability to hear will destroy the incoming life forms that was mentioned. In the knowledge that life can exist elsewhere in the universe. I think that one. I'm sorry, I can find that section. It's in the reading practice test. Okay. <sighs> it contents purpose questions. No, it's not this. It's what section is? Is this section two? It's the first one. It's the number one. On section two. On section one. Really? Ah, into the read section. Okay. Sorry. No problem. Yeah, it's the first one there. Yes. not really good science and D probably true what do you think probably true i actually think it's letter b but it could be wrong letter letter b restricted the notion because in in the second let me see not not the second paragraph um the third paragraph says, despite the seeming impo impossibility of uh, the panspermia hypothesis, some theories have resurrected the notion in decent, rec uh, in, decent in recent decades. So it means that they have uh, gained interest in this theory again. So it could be. Okay. Yeah. Does it make sense? So it could okay. be. Uh, let, let her be. Okay. Okay. Three. According to the passage, the material found in Antarctica. So letter A says does not contain Antarctica. bacterial fossils. B contains bacterial fossils. C has fossils originating on Earth, and D could not originate from Mars. So, I think it's I letter don't, B. I don't remember. Letter? I think it's letter B. Let me see. Letter? I have to switch it. To, um, let's see. I... I... Can you hear me? A little. Do you think it's letter? So the word meteorite. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Meteorite. Uh -huh, me According meteorite. to the meteorite passage, the meteorite found in Antarctica, A, does not contain bacteria fossils, 
B might contain bacterial fossils. C has fossils origin originating on Earth. And D could not originate from Mars. What is your answer? B might contain bacteria fossil. Okay, me too. The okay. next one is another exercise, isn't it? Or yes, is it? it's another one. Okay. We have to read that one. Have you done it? Yes. Yes, me too. What are your, which are your answers? Um, in the fourth, in the fourth, it's D. The plants are typically found in a tropical and subtropical regions of the world because of the warm of the warm weather. Okay. And five, according to the passage, in what way are the okay the basic kind of old tech systems similar? B. They use cold water to cause condensation. Did you see how much time we had for this? Because now we have to read the other one. And that one has four questions. According to the question. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was 10 minutes. 10 minutes are up. Is everybody finished? All right, let's check. Number one, number one, Nidia, number one, please. No, that's not my. The knowledge that life can't exist elsewhere in the universe. Thank you, Nidia. The knowledge that life can't exist elsewhere in the universe. Is that what you have, Nidia? Yes. Number oh. one, according to the passage. That's right. The panspermia hypothesis fell out of favor for all the following reasons, except B, the knowledge that life can't exist elsewhere in the universe. Excellent. Yvette, number two, please. According to the passage, the Panformia hypothesis is being taken seriously again. Perfect. Being taken seriously again is correct. Yeah, Number three, three beer. Scientists have gained interest. Repeat. Beer. Number three. Who? Beer. Number three. Virgin. Virgin. Beer. Virgin, number three. Found, found in Antarctica, might contain bacteria fossil. Very good. According to the passage, the meteorite found in Antarctica might yes. contain bacterial fossil is cocaine. The next one, Rodrigo, number four. According to the passage, right? With us and with us, with us, with us and finish. Oh, you're not finished? Oh, no. no, we didn't. We didn't. No, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Can somebody help Rodrigo? Number three? That's right, number four. four. Oh, number four. According to the passage, what can be inferred about the factor that allows the Ocina? Ocean. Oh, it's it's not. Ocean. Yes, but it's not correctly written. Allows the ocean. Ah, okay. To be used as an energy source. B. The plants are typically found in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world because of the warm weather. Very good. That is correct. Thank you, Nidia. Number five, Yvette. So it says, according to the passage, in what way are the basic kinds of OTEC systems similar? That would be letter B. They use cold water to cause condensation. Perfect.
a volunteer for number six. According to the passage, all of the following are problems with OTEC system as a power generating system except the damage caused to fish, fishing grounds. All right, the damage caused to fishing grounds is correct. Rodrigo, the, la the next one, number seven. Rodrigo, number seven. Teacher, I, I, wait, please. All right, go ahead. Can somebody help Rodrigo? Yeah. Somebody? According to the paragraph, what conditions allowed people to learn spe specialized skills? It will be letter C, the mm -hmm. sur surplus of farm products. That is correct. The surplus of farm products is correct. Number eight, uh, Nidia, number eight. Oh my God, excuse me. Number eight. Mm. Number eight, please. Excuse me. Mm. Number eight. According to paragraph one, why did people migrate before the Neolithic revolution? It's uh, the to the, find food. To find food is correct. Number nine, please, Yvette. So that would be, uh, according to the paragraph, uh, that would be letter D. Grasses were cut down for food consumption. Very good. Letter D, grasses were cut down for food consumption. Ten, dear. What it was easy for people to grow food near li large rivers? And it will be B, the soil was continuously enriched. Perfect. The soil was continuously enriched is correct. Uh, Nidia, number 11. Okay. According to paragraph four, why did early Neolithic build irrigation ditches? Ditches. A, to increase the growing areas. Very good. To increase the growing areas is right. Number 12, Yvette. According to paragraph five, what is the negative building of irrigation? Uh, building of irrigation ditches create. That's right. That would be A, too much salt. The that is soil. correct. Too much salt in the soil is correct. And number 13, number 13, please. Veer. It can be inferred that most movie theaters had a pianist. A pianist. P pianist. pianist. Most movie theaters had a pianist. Pianist. All right, number 14, please, Nidia. It can be understood that the sy synchronization system. Synchronization. Synchronization system. A, could be placed alongside the images. Images is correct. Yvette, the last one, number 15. It says, it can be inferred that short feature films produced as nearly as 1922, and that would be the option B, but it says, in that one, I think it's misspelled because it should, it should be, be musicians, that's right. Okay, that is correct, letter B is correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the reading section. Uh, now we're going to look at intro to the listening section. Listen, please.
Hello. Welcome to the listening section. As in the reading section, here you will find challenges about listening, about the listening section, two types of listening questions, listening practice. Challenges of listening. When listening, you must concentrate and focus your attention on the passage. You need to be familiar with the type of questions on the test. Read and listen carefully. Answer all the questions. You may take notes as you listen. About the listening section, the listening section on the TOEFL test measures your ability to understand spoken English. You will hear parts of a conversation or lectures lasting from 3 to 5 minutes. Each listening passage is followed by 5 or 6 questions. Again, no prior knowledge is necessary. Let's begin with GIST content and GIST purpose questions. Remember that the gist of something is the main point or key idea. GIST content questions ask you to identify the main topic or idea of the listening conversation or lecture. GIST purpose questions ask you to identify what the main purpose of the conversation or lecture is. You can recognize GIST content and GIST purpose questions because they use phrases like mainly about, mainly discussing, why this is the student, or what is the main purpose. Here are two things to keep in mind when answering GIST content and GIST purpose questions. In the listening section, there will always be either a GIST content question or a GIST purpose question, but never both. This question will always be the first question after listening to the passage. Also, sometimes the lectures and the conversations can have two main ideas. In this case, the GIST content or GIST purpose questions may ask you to choose two of the four answer options instead of just one. Let's look at some samples of GIST content and GIST purpose questions. All right, let's look at the first one. You hear, Professor, well, today I had hoped to show you some computer slides, but um, this morning when I popped into the lab to set up the equipment, I discovered that uh, the projector needs a bulb replacement. Needless to say, we didn't have a spare. So today you get to see my drawing skills or uh, shall I say lack, my lack of drawing skills instead of nice computer illustrations. So please bear with me. You will, you read and hear. Why does the professor say this? You hear, so please bear with me to joke with the class, to ask the class for their patience to make excuses for the situation, to encourage the students to make sketches. You should choose B because the professor cannot show the computer illustrations and therefore has to draw the illustrations. He, could, he would like the students to be understanding about the situation.
All right, so here it says, you here, I need your signature on this permission form so that I can get into chemistry 205 because my grade for the prerequisite course was low. Well, Bill, a low grade indicates that you don't understand essential concepts. Are you up to taking the course? I think so. My brother uh, kind of tutored me over the summer. We went back over all the material. I, I think I have a good grasp of it now. You read and hear. Listen again to part of the lecture. Then answer the questions. You hear. Well, Bill, a low grade indicates that you don't understand essential concepts. Are you up to taking the course? You read in here, what does the professor mean when she says this? Are you up to taking the course? You should choose B because the woman does not want to sign the form for the man if he doesn't have the knowledge from the prerequisite course in order to do well in the following course. Detailed questions. Now let's talk about detailed questions. Detailed questions ask you about information that is stated in a small part of the passage. They generally focus on the who, what, when, where, and why. So in the previous section, we were looking at the gist which is basically the main idea of the listening. In this section, we're looking at the general information, detailed information, referring to who did the actions, what happened, what were the actions, when did it take place, in what place, when, uh, time, where, the place, and why, the reason why. Detailed questions usually take one of these formats. According to the paragraph X, occurred because, according to paragraph X, which is true of, the author's description of, mentions which of the following. There are two major traps that people fall into on detailed questions. Both of them can be avoided if you're careful not to choose an answer simply because it contains keywords from the passage. The first trap is to choose a true statement that was contained in the passage, but that doesn't answer the question. The second mistake people make is to accidentally choose an answer that contains a lot of words from the passage, but actually it states a different idea or changes the relationships between things. For example, Sleeping makes me happy is very different from happiness makes me sleep. Let's work on a sample question. Listen to the audio program about a conversation and try to get the right answer. I dropped my physics course because I discovered it didn't meet my degree requirements. You wouldn't know anyone in the class who'd like to buy the course book, would you? Not offhand, but if you bought it new and kept the receipt, I'm sure you could get your money back or exchange it for one you do need. Really? I could do that, could I? Well, yeah, if it's within a reasonable period of time. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the question. Not offhand, but if you bought it new and kept the receipt, I'm sure you could get your money back or exchange it for one you do need. Really? I could do that, could I? What is the man doing when he says this? Really? I could do that, could I? Who could tell me the answer? He is showing the woman his excitement on getting the information. He is telling the woman that he thinks she is teasing him. He is telling the woman no. He is, he is letting the woman know 
that he considers what she said to be unsure, untrue. He is asking for confirmation about his understanding of what the woman said. Who can tell me the answer? A, B, C, or D? Who knows the answer for this section? I think it's letter B. Letter D. Very good. He is asking for in confirmation about his understanding of what the woman said. Let's check. Were you able to get it? That's right. By him using a talk question at the very end, we understand he's confirming his understanding about what the woman told him. Therefore, choice D is correct. Good job, Rodrigo. All right, just content and just purposes. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to complete this section in pairs, and then we are going to check. We're going to change partners. Let's go. Uh, 4.30. Ah, uh, earlier than the other day. Um, it's our, our schedule, uh, but I, I always leave the work about 6 p.m. So I have a, I a, an hour and a half earlier, yes. It's oh, yeah. good. And we are trying to work from home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. And you, how are your work? And I'm not working right now. I'm just studying, but <laughs> I got uh, a, 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 uh, lot, a lot of things in virtual class. Yes. And that's a mess, a terrible mess. I, I imagine that, yes. It's, but it happens. <laughs> we, it's, it's weird when you don't have the... You don't, you don't use to do that or yeah yes for, 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 but i i hope you 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 can do the things all right yeah but we need to follow the the instructions right okay well, what are we going to do what which part i understand listen in practice test one is in the second section two listen yeah section two okay yes Listening. Yes, that is a listen. Into the listening section. It, it says listening practice that's one. Trece puntos posibles. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I thought it is. Is this? Is what we were studying? I. I get, of listening about the listening section. 
I thought is later. Yeah. Sorry, after. After. After that. Okay. Yes, I, I thought it's this one. Gives content and gives purpose. After that, even? Yes, after that. Where do you study? Sorry? Where do you study? At Don Bosco University. Oh, really? Here in Antiguo Sotlán or Ciudadela? Ciudadela. Mm, okay. I live in this area. <laughs> okay. And where are, are you working, Lydia? San Salvador? Uh, Central Reserve Bank. Ah, yeah. I understand. Okay, I, I, I get. We have to listen to the exercise? Yes. At least the okay. first one. Let's see. Listen to part of a lecture from a history class. William Cody. Well, you probably know him as Buffalo Bill. Okay, so William Cody became an American showman and founded the Great Wild West Show. That was in 1883. He traveled around Europe with other famous people that you probably have also heard of, like people such as the sharpshooter Annie Oakley and the Indian chief Sitting Bull. This Wild West show traveled, as I said, around Europe and performed for many heads of state, like the Queen of England, Queen Victoria. The show was featured at her Golden Jubilee celebrations and the Tsar of Russia. That would have been the Tsar uh, Alexander III. His father, Alexander II, had been assassinated in 1881. So Alexander III would have seen Cody's show. Four, what is the talk mainly about? Hi. Okay. So they, they talk about really important people, right? Yes. And the first one is, what is the lecture mainly about? Mm -hmm. A, a, main, a method for evaluating outcomes. There will be a technique for avoiding controversy. There will be a comparison of benefic inputs. There will be a formula to sidestepping failure. Excuse me, you are talking about the uh... Uh, the first the, what is the talk, the talk mainly about yes that okay. that's the 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 question right yes the first one okay yes. a american sharp shooters b the sharks of russia c buffalo bills wild west show and yes. d european heads of state yes yes what's your answer it's a little bit complicated. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but it is because I, I heard the, the audio by you, but I don't know if you got an answer. I am confused because I think it could be B, the mm -hmm. Sarsfield Prochia, because she yeah. mentioned them on mm -hmm. about Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Yes. Um, I thought it could be B. B? Yes, I, I told that. You want, want to hear the, the audio again? Okay, let's do it. We got time, I thought. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Listen to part of a lecture from a history class. William Cody. 
Well, you probably know him as Buffalo Bill. Okay, so William Cody became an American showman and founded the Great Wild West Show. That was in 1883. He traveled around Europe with other famous people that you probably have also heard of, like people such as the sharpshooter Annie Oakley and the Indian chief Sitting Bull. This Wild West show traveled, as I said, around Europe and performed for many heads of state, like the Queen of England, Queen Victoria. The show was featured at her Golden Jubilee celebrations and the Tsar of Russia. That would have been the Tsar uh, Alexander III. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, time is up. That's going to be your homework. Please update yourself on the platform, and we will continue tomorrow. Please advance as much as possible. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.